Breaking, Steve Bannon returns home to Breibart News. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a breaking news story. It says that former White House Chief Strategist Stephen Bannon returned as Executive Chair of Breibart News Friday afternoon and chaired the company's evening editorial meeting. Ranked the number 63 website in America by Amazon-owned Alexa.com, and with the number 13 Facebook page in the world, Breibart News is considered the most influential populist website in the world. And they said, uh, according to Breitbart News Editor-in-Chief Alex Marlowe, he said, quote, The populist nationalist movement got a lot stronger today. He went on to say Breitbart gained an executive chairman with the finger on the pulse of the Trump agenda. Breitbart News CEO and President Larry Solove agreed by saying, quote, Breitbart's pace on the global expansion will only accelerate with Steve back in the chair. And he went on to say, quote, the sky's the limit. Bannon joined the Trump campaign on August the 17th, 2016, nearly one year ago to the day of his return to Breibart. He submitted his intention to leave the White House on August the 7th of this year. And today was his last day. That You know, that's what uh, we actually uploaded that earlier today, breaking that uh, Bannon had, you know, today was his last day and he had resigned. And it looks like the exact same day he's back at Breivar headquarters and already on his first editorial meeting of the day, which is pretty crazy. All right. But he, Bannon was, had already resigned since August the 7th uh, of this year. So it says White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and Steve Bannon had mutually agreed today, Friday, would be Steve's last day. That's what White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said on Friday afternoon, just a few minutes ago. It says, we are grateful for his service and wish him the best. It says that the, the, the Drudge Report hailed Bannon as a populist hero who enjoyed an impressive run during the tenure of President Trump's top White House strategist and campaign CEO. Now, when... Bannon left uh, Breitbart back uh, at the beginning of 2016. He never actually left Breitbart. He was never actually replaced. You know, and that's why a lot of people are saying that this could have been planned the whole time. Him coming in, being the CEO, and him coming in and being a chief strategist. Trying to get the inner workings of seeing what's going on. And then later on, go back to Breitbart and help the president uh, continue his agenda. Okay, so, you know, this is, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit uh, weird the way that everything worked out. But, you know, it could be planned. It could have most definitely been planned. Because why didn't Breitbart, you know, uh, you know, why didn't he actually quit Breitbart and knowing that he was going to be part of the Trump administration and Breitbart never actually replaced him with anybody else. And Bannon was ha, has said since the very beginning that he was going to be part of the administration for, you know, a, a short period of time. You know, he said maybe six months. So that's what leads a lot of people to believe that this was all completely planned. But let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you guys think that this was planned? Do you guys think that this is all, um, you know, it was all worked out during the election and then after President Trump won, all of this stuff, all of the people, you know, leaving the administration, do you think everything is completely planned by either those in the inner circle of President Trump or President Trump himself? Okay, so, you know, there's a lot of mystery that's going on, especially with Bannon and others that have been leaving the administration all of a sudden. So there, there's a there's a lot that um, that is left to speculate on what really is happening behind closed doors and what is going on within the administration. You know, a lot of you know the leftist media wants to call it, you know, saying that uh, it, it's unstable and it's chaotic and that nobody knows what's going on within the, the Trump White House, but everything seems to be running like clockwork. 
Okay, everything is completely pre-planned and everything go- seems to go at the exact time that they want it to work out. So, you know, um, some things are a little bit delayed, but most of the time it looks like it's running like clockwork. And, you know, it, it, it only leaves someone to speculate on exactly what's going on. But we want to know what you guys think. Let us know in the comment section below. Um, also, if you guys missed a- any of our previous videos or live streams or anything like that, it should be coming up on your screen. Uh, the links for our uh, social media is in the description below. Also, uh, if you guys haven't seen the video of us getting completely censored, demonetized on our videos, every single time that we upload a video, just like this one, it automatically gets demonetized. All right. So we need the help of you folks. We need the help of the Patriots to help us continue our operations here at Golden State Times. So there's a few ways that we are doing it. One, we have a Patreon now. Uh, the link for that is in the description below. If you guys want to help us out by, uh, by you know, putting a, a reoccurring uh, amount that you guys want to help us out with every single month and you know we'll give you guys special content and all that stuff if you guys want to see all the information on that the link for our patreon is in the description below if you guys want to help us with just a one-time uh one-time help uh one-time contribution the link for our uh our paypal is in the description below also uh, anything helps folks a buck five bucks whatever you can it helps out a lot in order to, for us to continue operations because YouTube is literally censoring us. Uh, we made a whole video out of it to show you exactly what's going on, what's happening, and all that stuff. And it's not just happening to us. As you guys know, uh, Alex Jones and uh, Diamond and Silk and others are starting to come out saying, yeah, we're getting censored, and now it's happening to us. Okay, and we're a smaller channel, so um, this ad revenue that we're not, we're no longer going to get is really, really going to affect us uh, come in the next coming weeks. And uh, the last thing is that President Trump is having a rally in Phoenix, Arizona this Tuesday that's coming up. We are set to go, got press passes, all that good stuff, but we still need help getting there. So we have a GoFundMe to help us get to the next rally, stream it using our own cameras, film it using our own cameras, and going out there, talking to the people and doing all that stuff. So if you want to check that out, all the information for that is in the description below. So in the description below is our Patreon link, our link for our PayPal, and our link for our GoFundMe to get us to the next Trump rally. So if you want to help us out, the links are in the description below. Thank you very much, everyone. And if you are new, subscribe to the channel if you like this report. And uh, we'll try to keep you updated on everything that's going on. So stay here at Golden State Times for all of your news, uh, po- uh, political rallies, and also breaking news and uh, briefings. All that stuff is all streamed here live for you. So see you guys on the next one. Peace.